Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Danny from The Glittered Rose. For this week's episode of Two Ways Tuesdays, I thought I'd do a little something a little bit different. So I've decided to use the one stamp and use very similar techniques, but just show how putting them together differently can make a very different looking card. So for both cards I've used alcohol markers and watercolour paints and I've just built them differently so that they look quite different. Um, if this is of any interest please be sure to stick around, hit the like button and subscribe. I also want to welcome all my new subscribers. It's fantastic to have you here. I really do appreciate you subscribing and any likes or comments it really helps my channel get off the ground and and let youtube know that my content's worth viewing thanks so much okay so to start off with we'll start with a yellow card and we're just inking it up with enchanted gold from Altenew. and then i'm going to heat emboss it using wow clear embossing powder I tend to heat emboss a lot of my stamped images. I just like the look. It gives that extra bit of texture, but also a little bit of protection um, from bleeding. I know that Altenew ink pads are supposed to be alcohol marker friendly and watercolor safe, but they do take a long time to dry. So I think just popping on some um, embossing powder really does help. So I'm just going in with my Ofuhu markers, which I think are amazing. I know I say it all the time, but they are incredible. I like them more than Copic markers. They go on so beautifully. So I'm just going in with those colours. And I have a tendency to use three colours. So I'll go in with my lightest colour and then the medium shade and then the darkest over the top. And then I'll blend it all through using my lightest colour again. I'm going to fast forward um, my colouring because you don't need to sit here and watch me slowly colour. But it will also give you an idea of how I colour if I leave it in. I'm just grabbing out my Artistro watercolour set. I love these. These are from Amazon. For anyone who hasn't seen my review on them, um, I'll link the video up above. And I'll also put a link in my descriptions where you can grab yourself a set. They're only about $25. And I think they're fantastic. They're really, really good. Just going in with some very watery paints and just painting a bit of a splishy sploshy background um i'm brushing it on and wiping it off until i get the sort of mixture and painterly effect that i like i'm picking up colors that are in the focal image or similar colors so that it all is cohesive and works well together i've just used um, some plain watercolour paper for this background. I've decided I'm going to 3D emboss boss it and I'll run that through. I've also already die cut out my focal image. 
just needs something. So I'm going to splash some dark grey onto my background. I think if I used black, it would have looked too much, too dirty. So just a sort of a deep or mid grey works well for these colours. It came out of the die cut machine a little fragile. So there are bits that I've had to patch up. Um, but I've popped it up on some pink pop-up foam. And I'm just going to audition it and see what I think. Sorry, it's a bit out of frame. But looks good. So now on to the sentiment. I'm using Sending Sunshine and Smiles. I think that's very sweet. I'm going to heat emboss it and cut out some pop-up foam and then we can piece the card together. Okay, so for this card I want some really nice fine borders. So I've got my A2 card base in white and then I've got a darker panel um, in a sort of orangey yellow colour and then the yellow. Just with fine borders, I think it's quite elegant when you have thin borders. And I just used my die cuts because measuring and trimming ain't my jam. Never has been. I don't think it ever will be. <laughs> It's just not a talent that I possess. I also think sometimes die cutting your layers adds a really nice effect. Quite often there's a small indentation to make it look really polished. So the layering dies that I use are A2 layers and additional layers by Waffle Flower. I purchased them from Craft and Create in Australia. If any Aussies are watching, they're a great local business in Sydney. You should check them out. Okay, so I'm just gluing everything down now and I'm popping on some rhinestones. I have some gorgeous purple rhinestones, which I think match really nicely. It matches the purple flowers, but, but also the purple um, in the water colouring. So I think they go quite nicely together. And we're all finished. I have to say, I do like this card. I think that the watercolour behind it just finishes it and gives it that little bit of something different. And the alcohol markers go quite well with the watercolours. I think they've got that nice sort of smooth look, so they sort of complement each other. Okay, so let's jump on into the next card. Okay, so jumping into the second card, I've already stamped using Versafine. I've also heat embossed it. You don't need to watch me do this again. And I'm just going to colour using the same colours that I used previously. I'm going to make both cards quite similar. I'm going to do the same techniques, same colours, but it's just the way you finish them. Hopefully I'll make a different looking card. We'll see when I'm done. I have an odd question to ask you. I recently watched a video. Um, and it was a just a review on a game and they said later in the game as you progress through the game you can get robots to do tasks in the game that you don't enjoy. So I was asking myself if I had a robot that could complete tasks for my paper crafts what would I get the um, robot to do? And I think it would be the all the trimming and the measuring and the matting to get all your borders right, especially if they're better at it than I am. So if you could palm off certain jobs in crafts, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. If you leave a comment, I'll send you a card, maybe one of these ones. I'd just love to know what, what jobs are your least favourite when it comes to card making. Let me know your Instagram or somewhere I can contact you to get your address. Don't leave your address in the comment section. Just let me know how I can get in touch. Okay, so now I'm just going in with my artistro. So this method is a little different to the one before. I'm not using watercolour paper, so it will look a bit different. Um, 
and I'm just doing sort of blocks of colour rather than smooshing them together and just using some watered down watercolours. I'm using a different colour palette than I used for the previous card. I think something a little bit brighter because we don't have as much texture or as many layers on this card. So I think it needed a little bit more punchy watercolour background, if that makes sense. I'm going to fast forward through this section now, just so that you can see how I achieved achieve the look without sitting there for too long. I think some people who make cards in a matter of an hour or so are so smart. I'm, I'm slow. It takes me a long time. I do also edit a lot out of my videos so that you're not sitting there for too long. I really appreciate everyone who spends time watching my videos, but I'm very mindful that, you know, time ain't cheap. <laughs> so if I can speed up things that you don't need to see, I'll do that. I love this. This was such a fun technique. I've never done it before, but I think the result is just so pretty. Having heat embossed the image first made it super easy because it gave it those walls which protected the alcohol um, colored image. It was just so much fun, so relaxing. I know I've done a lot of videos lately using watercolors, but I'm enjoying them. Okay, so I've stamped the same sentiment out using Versafine and I've embossed it with the clear wow embossing powder and I've die cut it out and I've also die cut three layers of plain cardstock to pop that out. I didn't want to use pop-up foam because I didn't want the glitter on this card and I've just gone with a simple blue border. Again, I've used my Waffle Flower A2 layers and um, I think I'm happy with that. I think we're going to pop it together and maybe pop some bling on it. You know me, I have to have some rhinestones usually. I'm just going to glue everything down and pop some rhinestones on. I'm just going to use the same coloured rhinestones as the other card had. And it's quite interesting how different those rhinestones look on the two different cards. So it's all finished. I think it's lovely. My idea behind Two Ways Tuesdays was because I see this so much in the craft world and I'm very guilty of it, that everyone thinks they need the new releases, the new products, that it's better than what you've got, even if it's very similar to what you already have. So I want to show you can make two different items using the same same focal point or embossing folder and you'll end up with different different cards to make your stash go further i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please hit the like button subscribe and let me know down below which is your favorite card and don't don't forget to let me know what tasks you would give to a robot <laughs> i might need to stipulate that I will send three cards out, so I'll randomly choose three winners and post out three cards. All right. Thanks, guys. Until next week. Bye.